Hello guys, I hope you enjoyed the last video. In this video, I will talk about water deluge testing on Orbital Launch Mount, SLS's next step, and a few key takeaways from Rocket Lab's Investor Day. Ahead of its upcoming megastatic fire test of all 33 engines on the Starship Super Heavy booster, SpaceX tested a crucial part of Stage 0. The water deluge system was tested last night for full 7 minutes. This system is intended to suppress the fire and sound coming out of the booster during the static fire and liftoff. The missing pieces of the puzzle are starting to come together nicely. Starship orbital test flight within the next two months is highly possible now. Earlier before the deluge test, Booster 7 was sent back to the production site for hardware upgrades. Starship S24's Starlink dispenser door got a new cover yesterday. It looks like the new cover is welded over the door permanently. So, earlier speculation of Starlink V2 deployment during the first orbital test flight is proven wrong. S24 may not even reach the required altitude to deploy the satellite. It's just a test flight of a new rocket system, the first of a kind. A lot of things can go wrong but lessons will be learned and excitement will be fulfilled. NASA concluded its first ever successful wet dress rehearsal yesterday. They call it a cryogenic demonstration test, but it was no different than a wet dress rehearsal. The agency said all the goals were met, and they gathered important data from the hydrogen leak they encountered during the early stage of fueling the tank. Yes, it was a hugely positive step toward the Artemis 1 launch attempt. But, SLS will probably face another obstacle in the coming days. The two challenges that NASA will face toward its launch attempt on the 27th are flight termination system battery and tropical weather. Early weather forecasts suggest a hurricane toward Florida. NASA still has time to think about whether to keep the vehicle at the pad and wait for a launch opportunity. If weather constraint forces the SLS rocket to roll back to the VAB, it will not make it into orbit during this month's launch period in early October. At this moment, the weather is a watch-out item for NASA. Rocket Lab held its Investor Day in New York yesterday. During the event, the company revealed what was in the pipeline for the coming years. They provided a long list of updates, but I want to point out a few. If you have been following rocket launches and space in general, you might have already heard about Rocket Lab. Although Rocket Lab is an American company, it has been launching electron rockets from its launch complex one in New Zealand. But for the first time, the company will launch its first mission from the U.S. soil in December this year. Rocket Lab is building its Launch Complex 2 on the coast of Virginia not only for its existing Electron rockets but also has plans to build another launch and landing pad for its next-generation reusable rocket called Neutron. If you want to know more about yesterday's event, I will put a link in the description down below. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you got some information about what's happening in the space industry. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.